This video is sponsored by Win Win Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Hull Test, current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. We are cracking on with our Enter the Dragon campaign. In fact, we're going backwards slightly for reasons. To explain why, here's Bean. Yeah, hi Cap, hi everyone. Um, yeah, sorry we're having to rerun this mission again. As you might recall from the last time we ran it, we had a bit of a problem um, when we reloaded the mission up on the server. All the ground units disappeared through the floor, which meant we had no friendly SAMs, no enemy SAMs, no tanks. Um, so the air tier guys had a great time, but everybody else was scratching their heads. So we decided to rerun it. Um, and so we're going to go through it again. <clears throat> now, if you recall, uh, the mission before this one, uh, great work had been done. We managed to get local air superiority. However, there is some still some J-15s around. Um, there won't be any J-17s or J-11s because we knocked out the runway and those aircraft that were left had to go to Iran where they're currently uh, interned there and unable to operate. So the only enemies you have tonight are the J-15s, which is, uh, you know, the Su-33, um, but with a Chinese skin on it. Um, so the main concern then is trying to get ground and naval superiority because we don't have either. Uh, the Chinese armor has managed to push south where they're threatening to now try and push into the UAE and cut off our, our forces. Um, so we really need to focus on plinking away that armor. Um, we have also been surprised by the invasion at Fujara. So we saw some uh, vessels coming in to reinforce the Liaoing battle group. Uh, turned out they turned left and uh, went and landed in Fujara port and are offloading lots of tanks and air defenses. So, um, you know, that's a big concern to us. And there will be, uh, when we go through the tabs in a minute, you'll see some aerial photos. Otherwise, the only other air targets to worry about are the H-6. Um, the strategic bombers will be coming in. They're most likely going to be launching cruise missiles at various targets. So um, if we can try and take those out, preferably before they launch their missiles or, or afterwards, um, that would be a good job for CAP as well, um, as well as uh, obviously trying to eliminate the remaining J-15s. If you have a quick look at the theater intel there, we went over this last time, but you can just see where the enemy have been pushing south. And I just want to indicate again that there is um, blue ground forces. Now we have some Chali 2s and some uh, Abram M1 main battle tanks um, for use in combined arms. If you get shot down afterwards, you can jump in one of those and, and go off and do the, the land battle. In terms of naval forces, well, we still have the Liang in carrier and her uh, air group. Um, it is reduced, but it's still around. And of course, uh, several frigates and destroyers, um, which of course have their own SAM defense systems as well. Particularly if you're striking Fujara, keep a, an eye out for the destroyer and the frigate around there because those are pretty lethal, those SAMs. In terms of what's going on in Fujara itself, the amphibious force that's landed there, it's a, a large handy wind cargo vessel and then a smaller cargo vessel. Um, you can see from this aerial reconnaissance photo, there's also a Type 54 frigate in there. And they've offloaded some AAA, um, as well as the standard Chinese uh, HQ-7 SAM and the TOR SAM. So they are pretty tooled up to the teeth. Um, be wary as well that this AAA appears to be radar-guided AAA, so you know, don't get caught too close. Uh, something of major concern to us as well is that those forces could progress south, although they damage the um, Fujara airfield uh, in order to stop us using it. If they move south and they manage to occupy it, then it could well be they repair it and, and use it for future offenses against us. So uh, you'll get a message in mission when that convoy has been triggered and when it's moving south. Uh, I would recommend trying to destroy it before they capture that airfield. Going over to the Air Intel tab, well, that's a picture of the J-15 there. Uh, and, and of course, then a picture of the H-6. In terms of work for GRAV, they've been doing some great work the last couple of missions. They managed to set up a, a couple of uh, further landing zones or F, FOBs. Um, you now have um, Perth, which is slightly north of Dallas and is, is closer to the coastline. Um, and that can be used for uh, attacking some of the enemy tanks. Uh, in terms of other work that can be done, again, you can move around your um, uh, Stinger teams. Uh, there's also an airfield assault squad that you can pick up. Um, if you want to go and try and do a, a, a clear out the remainder of the enemy forces at Kassab Airfield and seize Kassab Airfield, that's also possible. Just bear in mind, there are some infantry and some IFVs around the airfield that would need taking out first. Um, unfortunately, some, some of our pilots got shot down. Um, so there is a CSAR mission also available if you would like to do that. Um, if you don't do it this mission, it'll be available next mission.
And most importantly, and uh, I, I shouldn't forget this, is that Oman have managed to purchase some uh, MI24s on a lend lease from Pakistan, and they've set up their own FARP uh, called Paris. Um, that's basically east of Kassab, uh, and from there the, the Heinz can then proceed uh, into the east of Kassab and, and start plinking away at uh, Chinese tanks there. Otherwise, the very last tab is one that I've just put in. It's just to let you all know that um, I've changed the KC-135 to a boom KC-135 because the poor old Vipers had no tanker. Um, they only had probe and drogue tankers. Uh, and you have all this information in both your knee boards and also in the briefing screen if you need to check what TACAN is and things like that, what frequency. Um, Otherwise, uh, happy to take any questions, Cap, unless you want to do the flights first. Yeah, we'll do the flights, guys. Springfield are uh, from the carrier. It is F-14's Whistler with a Luke, Grump with Silver, Skill, Centillion, Dodge, uh, Hornets from the carrier, Alley, Shugs, Jigsaw, Shrack, Colt, Canadian Hornets, Jacal, Jarhead, Harriers, Bean, Static, Enfield, F-15's Danny, Cap, Pontiac, LO on his own again for another suicide run. Chevy, Vipers, Chop6, Dobber, Dev, and Onslaught. Are you guys all here? Because I really wanted to be in the Viper group today. Yeah. You want yeah, to yeah, swap, Cap? No, yeah, well, I, I wouldn't mind. I just, it's because we're redoing it, and it would. It's not, but it's not essential. If, if you haven't got any other planes, then don't worry about it. It's fine. You take, you're going to take the uh, Viper. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be doing what we did last time, guys. Um, Saab. Hopefully, you don't do what you did last time. Mm, yeah, uh, that, well last about that. Cap. Well, Saab, uh, Wiggins, Blood, Stoat, Chef, all uh, vegan experienced guys in there. Cobra, oh, Black Sharks, represented Cobras, Saint Red, Uzi, oh, Cobras in Gazelles, Artie and Artie's brother Artie, how about that? Stallion, Sea Stallions, Hips, Tuxor, Sea Chors, hmm. Iroquois, in Huey's, Bendy, Muscat, Hines, Blight, Blade, Blade, Ford, Unexpected, in Gazelle. Guys, is it, we're just going to do the same tactics as last time. It was a good idea, it just didn't work, obviously. Well, I think we the one modification is we throw everything we have at Fajira at first. We mm -hmm. did make a mistake of, we sent some people north and they got killed because there was no cap there. So anyone who intends to go north... I recommend you stick east with everyone else first, and then once the ship and the SAMs are down over for Gyra and we've dealt with the cap, then we can throw a few more assets north and deal with that. We've got any way as of taking that? Guys have dealt... I mean, as soon as you guys have dealt with the ships, we cap fighters can get in much closer because well, they, they police up to what thirty-five miles around them. Is there any way to get yeah. rid of that fifty-four type fifty-four in the harbor because yeah. that was mullering us? Right, okay, uh, I, I've just, I've got a way to kill that uh, 54. I'm going to loft some JDAMs hiding behind the hill from low level. Nice. And if I lob four of them onto the ship of 2,000 um, pound JDAMs, mm -hmm. it um, it does actually kill the ship. Wicked. Um, so I'll just rush ahead at low level. Hopefully my the rest of my team will go in and do normal SEAD with the um, with the harms and everything, and I'll just have a quick uh, dash at that and see if I can uh, close it down. Yeah, and I, I have an entirely separate sneaky plan, and I'm hoping one of our two plans will succeed. Mm -hmm. Good. Sounds um, good. But yeah, the biggest threat is the cap, same as last time. Yeah. So we need to have a phase where we have our aircraft luring their cap out of their salmonet, engaging them, and at that point we can sneak everybody underneath. But if they see the uh, ground attack aircraft first, that's what they'll go for. Mm-hmm. Blood, just to warn you, with the cap this time, because last time we basically had uh, a flight of four uh, protecting the carrier and then two other flights of fours down by Fajara, because it kind of killed everybody last time. What's going to happen this time is it's a flight of four round Fajara, a flight of four round the carrier, but once that flight of four round Fajara is killed, you'll get another flight spawning in. So it's in a wave, if you see what I mean. What's the delay? Well, as soon as the last fight is killed. Right, everyone kill exactly three fighters and just the <laughs> Wounds the other. Uh, we'll wound him enough that he'll go home and you never die. You said too much. Hey, Johnny, loose lips. Um, but either way, it is <laughs> a case of well, the moment the AI gets uh, fixated on somebody, they'll go after that person. Uh, yeah, so last the cap time. needs to kind of roll in first. Even if you're going to immediately go defensive because the ship will shoot at you, that's sufficient to get the enemy cap chasing after you. Last yeah, time the 
the uh, Chinese targeted the AWACSs as well. I'm hoping yeah. that won't be a problem because we'll have the SAMs this time. I mean, if you don't... Does anyone don't... know... I don't trust SAMs. Does anyone know if the low tax server is running? Because I cannot connect to it. It's an OB question. For the, for Damn the it, OB! For the cap on, on that 54, don't go too high, but if, if you're sort of down at the 10,000 foot area, you won't shoot you more than about 26 miles. Yeah. Okay, four ready. Three ready. Two ready. Right, one tax out. Alright boys, it's gonna do some frigging F sixteening. While drinking my cup of tea. Wrong way around. Blood stunning. Uh, is it better? Go ahead. Um, when you're ready, you can take off first, unless you want us to go. I would rather you take off first, since you guys have the air to air missiles and we don't. Uh, Start taking it, sir. And, uh, and Blood, uh, Tully B, we're just going to be a few minutes, there's a bit of congestion on the ship. Yeah, that's fine, now just give us a 10 minute back. heads up. Well, it's probably going to be 10 minutes now from now, but no sooner. Yeah, I'd rather you, I'd rather you be airborne and ready to push in though. Um, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, ready. yeah. If you get delayed, then not, we're not going to be mid-air running into a wall of enemy camp. Yeah, oh, don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll let you know when we're airborne. Ready? Climb 20 degrees nose up and a right hand departure.
That guy's not going to spike us for 70 miles. Uh, that'd be annoying, wouldn't it? Hmm. confident about my placement I'm gonna try an F3. Am I am I gonna try an F3? Am I? Sod it. Oh orgasmic. Well, that's a nice finger four boys. That's a nice friggin' finger four. Bad guys on the scanner, 80 miles. Nasty. Stop downloading that prawns lead.
octopus prawns, tentacle prawns. Whoa! The Whoa, what was that? Who lagged? Was it me? Because you were all gone for me. No, it's like everyone disappeared, stopping for me. I think it was the server, I just peeled. Oh, come on. Already? Yeah. I still see you moving, though. Yeah, I just got everyone back. Typical big beans. Oh, hello, guys. Right, uh, aileron roll lead. You know what I mean. There he is. There she is. Back in formation. That's not an excuse, boys. says it like it's easy. It's not a problem, just a one-lock ahead of them. <laughs> well, if you're full don't shoot down front, it's be good. Okay, Blood, we're starting to uh, push. Roger, we've got a, um, we've got a time on target of 0558, if that's a good idea. Oh, that's your three saddle. Three, three saddle. Oh. 24 ram ramps for their face, boys. 60 miles. Okay, remember, guys, long range engagements as per the blood request. It's got tally on, uh, looks like at least one or two contacts. Uh, Let's do this. Nail, 7 o'clock. We've got a bandit two ship, cross, 015, 23 miles. 25 from my position, about 50 miles. We target swap school, cross the four. Drop the box three times, Steve. We got missiles out from uh, enemy uh, fighters uh, shooting west. Uh, this is Jar Head via Kassab. Do we have any cap via Kassab? I'm picking up nails on the nose. Greenfield 2 is uh, heading up towards uh, Kassab, engaging two bandits just off the east of uh, Kassab. this. Oh, F3. Yeah, I think either way it's better to let uh, that fight go ahead before we, we come in. <laughs> Copied. Okay, that comms to our left looks like the 2-9. Roger guys, let's start breaking the formation slowly, please, and start fighting your own fight. Roger. Three's breaking left. Just watch out for that one, frankly, we got in close. Okay, 
Okay, visualise the port on the nose. Let's go into uh, trail. Yeah, they were a bad aspect. New targets over bulls, new targets over bulls. Let's get some more reposition. Eyes on this, guys. Two zero. Roger. Yeah, we'll do transfer in a bit. Yeah, Danny, the further you drag them away from Fajaro, the better it is for us. Again, if you shoot them all down, we get fresh ones. The spout is uh, 20, 25 miles uh, west of uh, Fajara at the moment, so we're just holding off. Copy, we're still waiting on our, uh, our DTS crash to get back in the game, so we're going to have to delay it further. I'll give you an updated TOT in a moment. Okay. For, forwards lost the fighters on the right, where have they gone? They're faded, we're going to turn back left because we're south of the AO. Looks like the Wizard Olax is under attack. Three and four have gone uh, straight down the middle for the guy over the base. Thirty-seven miles. That's a four units, a four ship. Waiting for that friggin' HHQ-9. Uh, the F-10 map, we don't have many friendly cap fighters north of Fajara. We've got plenty south. Uh, can we get maybe the F-15s to push to the northern side of Fajara? Hello, this is Springfield. The Navy fighters are being heavily engaged here in the west. We can't intervene for a little while yet. Roger, we're just down the ground. Four, Fox 3. We'll let you know when we've beaten off the attack. Which one did you engage? Four ends are pushing north. The rightmost of the four over the base. Roger. Two bandits down uh, just in line to the Calliope. Offensive cranking left cap. Missiles out from the 54, tally missiles. I think it's out on me. Is on me? I'm going. Someone's just, someone's just blown up near us. What the fuck is that? Someone's down. Who 
is that? So you've got me tally off the SA. Uh, so you have one. Cap code. Can you see me on the SA page? Okay, I'm going to turn in towards you. Alright, I'll meet you by the mountains. I'm in the M10 wing tank as well, which is good news. Four recommitting, I think three's been shot down. And three, three's off data link. Blood, Springfield, we are clear of our uh, engagement in the One east. One and four. Oh, we're skimming in the west, we're now pushing east towards Fujara. Roger, we're taking off now, we yeah. pushed our TOT 420603. Well, the ones over the base won't shift. We're pummeling with the missiles. They refuse to come after us. Uh, to save your missiles, go lower so you out of range of that ship. Get as close as you can. See if you can distract them. Roger. Heading in. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get back to you. She so went down in a really safe looking place, it's very weird. It's the HHQ 9s, they're deadly, deadly. Check that back, the Angels 19. I'm after him now, I'm gonna go low and just shoot him from the belly. Roger, only one fighter remaining over the base. Just keep him busy, don't shoot him down. Roger. Do you see just one as well, Lee? Yes, one that's near the area, yeah. Okay, I'm just...
Delta 2, uh, at least one F-14 heading towards the stop as well. about 20 of you guys going for one wing loon drone. I've got to get that kill cap, I want it. Can you see beams that the joke is put in? Oh dear. Oh yeah. Run, Grump, run! Uh, run away, Grump. Or not. Managed to get that guy. He's still chosen for someone. Ah, uh, follow this and stuff. Splash. Has the strike? Towards the Jada incomplete. Are we still going to be cap over there? Red AWACS splashed. Red AWACS splashed. Negative, that's a tanker. I know it's six. Oh no, I didn't. Do you know when the starting time was? No, I just know it's half past six now. No, it's already got nothing.
You killed the ship, Ali. Oh, blood for again. five minutes. How hard is it? That's How was that, blood? Uh, 
Welcome back, valued viewers. That was a little awkward, as you probably saw my computer crashed halfway halfway through, and it's caused. So I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. Uh, best thing, group by group, with a good description of what you got achieved, please, because otherwise we might not see a lot of it in the video because of my corrupt track files. Send. Who's first? Tomcat. Mostly individual success by Springfield today, so we'll go one by one. Uh, myself, uh, foxed on some uh, enemy J-15s that were making a run west. They managed to jam the missiles off. And the last thing I managed to find was a tanker out east of the enemies and splash that. Uh, otherwise, got back with a three-wire myself. Grump? Yeah, so Grump uh, threw a lot of problems with DCS today. I managed to take off finally. Uh, Found a couple of contacts that were over uh, Kasab, engaged two of them, managed to splash one, um, and then at that point ended up flying uh, a little too close to the sun, i.e. the east side of Gulf of Oman, to the uh, carriers and got shot down by a frigate. Oh, I was watching that. Grump. Skill. Yeah, same as Grump. Problems getting launched, but once we were up, uh, quickly found a couple of targets kind of to the north of Fajada, took them out, and then found a third low level uh, coming in from the south, obviously trying to interdict some of the strike fighters, so took him out, and then it was just a patrol back to the carrier after that. And Centillion. Uh Yeah, I went to Fajada, I, I managed to shoot one bandit down, uh, kept most time flying low. And then went north, um, didn't find anything. Then at the end, uh, I went back to the carrier. Yes, we had a bunch of sneaky J-15s going up and down into the mountains, having to find them. But uh, we seemed to do all well and survive at the end of the day. Watch your boys. Uh, who's next? Watch uh, dodge. Send. Um, yeah, well, we hung around while the uh, F-14s got airborne in the carrier. Eventually got our shit together, talking to Blood about timing. We get airborne off the carrier, um, headed towards the coast. Um, saw that uh, the boys were still had a lot to shoot down between us and Fajara, so we just did an orbit or two, waiting for them to clear up. Watch Skill and Centillion clear everybody up. Bar one, we then launched off um, east towards the targets. There was one fighter which was cleared up when we were halfway there, just got a bit behind us, but I think he was chasing us, but um, he just got shot down. So um, we proceeded towards uh, the ship and uh, the missile sites in Fajara. We got all our weapons off. Um, I'm not sure. We're getting a lot of desync, a lot of lag, so mm. we're not really sure. And somebody watched some of the bombs and said they were wobbling away and missed by inches. So I don't know quite what happened there, but I think we did get some kills on the ship and uh, the missile sites. Um, shrugs? No, Jigsaw? I would say there's nothing to add. Just good leading by Ellie, as always. So, fun mission. Did we, lose, did we lose our IWAX? I'm just watching it getting shot at. We lost one of the You lost the, uh... We lost one of the IWAX and we lost most of the tankers. Oops. Yeah, I believe we lost the E3. The E2 was still up. We... We still have the E3. Right. We still have so the E2 and an E3. Yeah, I think there was two E3s. We had three AUX. We lost Dark Star, I believe. All right, uh, carry on, guys. You killed the fifty-four, by the way. I was watching yeah, that. Yeah, well, which we yeah, oh, good. I'm glad we got it in the end. But Shaki, you finished? Yeah, nothing to add. Okay, that's dodge done. Colt next. Yeah, so Colt single flight. Uh, followed the sixteens north. Um, then moved up to Kasab. Killed a twenty-nine. Ventured home and didn't run out of fuel. Bonus. Well um, next person on next group, please. Jarhead, Harriers. 
been static? Anybody? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm busy looking at all the good work you guys did. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had some issues as well where I crashed the desktop um, and Auntie had problems joining, but uh, probably just as well because when I did join in, there was some 29, um, not 29, sorry, um, J15s um, trying to hunt us down. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was probably good that we took our time because then the cap arrived and saved our asses. And uh, we managed to plink a few tanks, but mm, didn't make much of a dent. I'm just looking now, there's still quite a lot of red armor left. Um, and, and that was it. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good challenge, actually, because that armor is quite high up on the ridge line. And uh, yeah, I was using laser guided, which I was struggling because of the clouds. Mm. And the clouds are not far from the ridge line. So yeah, it was a good challenge. Hunter guys? That's me. Uh, next, whoever is next. In the field. Yeah, we just flew around and then bopped some guys on the head with some Amon 20s and uh, killed one of their drones, I believe, around Kassab. That was lazing for their tanks, I think. Mm. So we didn't do much, we just helped in the large picture. We'll do. Next. Hello in the 6 9 Pontiac. You here, Relu? Is Hello here? I don't think he was no. here today, guys. Cap, do you want to do our one? Um, we took off as a four ship. We got to Fujara after a trek. Um, I think do uh, two. Dobber got a HHQ-9 in the face after realising how powerful they are, which I learned last week. Um, Chop-6 went to the very end and then landed after it had presumably shooting some guys down. I, I didn't get to follow you, unfortunately. I didn't get a kill, but I did fire three missiles. That's how about good. that? That's good enough. Uh, I shot a guy down and then my computer did a full blue screen crash and I lost all my footage, which I'm very upset about. And did anyone know what happened to three? He just disappeared on my screen. No, I got hit by HQ also, Cap. Roger. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good, unfortunately. Uh, so that yeah. is that... Um, that's our group, really. We've got some odds and sods done and just some weird and annoying things happened to us, but we did a little bit at least. Next. Uh, so the Viggins. So ours was mostly good. Uh, our initial tack-in was pretty successful. We managed to destroy all but one tour of the SAM site, and I think all the stuff they were offloading is pretty much annihilated. Um, I was tasked with destroying the ship in the harbour as part of our backup plan and I got two Mavericks on it. Unfortunately, as I was um, as I was coming in, I looked to my right and noticed there was a stinger out on me. I managed to pull extremely hard and just dodged it, but it took out one of my ailerons and started a fire on my right wing and a fuel leak, but somehow managed to make it all the way back to base. Um, and everyone else survived. So we decided we'll go after that 52C in the harbor, uh, just outside the harbor. And so we went on a really long southern route to avoid any potential enemy cap. And it was going well. And then we were just coming along the coast to drop the weapons. And I think I discovered a bug in the RB15s in that the manual said, I have to check this. They should Let's stay go. 80 meters above the any land. And instead it decided it would plonk itself straight into the ground, and the resulting explosion blew me up. Oopsie. And the remaining two guys had some What's problems with their system and didn't get any successful missiles off, but they now have some... They've gone on a second sortie, and there are missiles out on the 52C. So 50, we'll see what 52 happens. 52B is dead. Hey, well done, boys. Died. What did they get it with? RB-15. RB-15. Did you launch One it RB-15 from full health. Did you launch it over the sea this time? Yes. That is so cheap. No, he launched over. So cheap. No, no, no. We um, one of them launched over land. All right. Uh, if you're wondering what we're talking about, valued viewers, we finished early because there's only two guys left, and that is the vegans, and they went out and did a separate strike. So they've taken that down as well, which is amazing. Was it in within 90 minutes? Because that's I think well within, yeah, Roughly. easily, yeah. Yes. All right, well done, boys. Um, okay, weird from vegans, but you killed two, sh uh, you killed one ship at the end of the day. So that's that's uh, that's all right. Uh, next, is there any who was next? Oh, sorry. If people no, are, if anyone is still watching the video, this video at this point, and you keep seeing AGM eighty fours bumping across here, it, we can't stop them. We were just pretending they're not here. Just take my word for it. Uh, helicopters, send and ting. I think there's nobody in Cobra. Okay, RT in Uzi. Me and my clone uh, started off in a Gazelle L. 
to support Bendy on the CSAR to pick up the first damn pilot. Uh, flew in, took out some of the uh, opposing ground forces. Other ground forces were taken out by Bendy and not sure, was it Tux or was it unexpected? One or other. Uh, and that pilot, as uh, Bendy will tell you, was successfully rescued. I then flew back to the FARP, swapped to my other clone and hopped into a Gazelle Mistral and basically did cap over the FARPs, took out the drone that was over Kassab and then also took out a J-15 directly over wow. the FARP Perth. Uh, then did some further escort on Bendy when he went to get the second uh, down pilot uh, and uh, eventually um, returned to base. Well done, guys. Any other helicopters? <sighs> so, uh, Tuxor, so myself and Seahorse, we just dropped a few squads of um, the air airfield assault squads at Kassab. Um, back, up, back and forth a few times. I think we both got shot down twice in the end, but uh, I think with the help of Unexpected at the end, the airfield is empty of any fighting vehicles now, so it should be easy to take over. Hold well on, boys. I think I saw Seahorse kill some yep. blue stingers. I saw Seahorse kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a good cat. So, uh, Bendy on... I saw a couple of good, uh, good combination of a Camov and a uh, Heinz taking out a bunch of bases. Whoever that was, I don't know who it was. Someone, some guy. Is someone going to Iranian airspace? Oopsie! I didn't see anything. I'm, not, I'm watching the no. tank view and I'm not seeing anything. I'm watching GCI view now, and there's four contacts just come out of Bandar Abbas. Oh, just ignore it. It's got a. It's it's past game done now. I think. <laughs> we'll, we'll selectively ignore that one. Um, anyone? Anyone else Bendy. before we sign off? Yep. Yeah, so Bendy on Caesar. Um, as Ali said, we went in to pick up the first down pilot, took out a few ground units, picked him up, was looking for the second one, and unexpected had uh, crashed into an interesting position. Um, so I went and uh, rescued him. Unfortunately, got a mast bump trying to uh, get off the little, little hill that he, he landed on. So a uh, seahorse came along, picked up, Myself, unexpected, and the down pilot that I'd picked up, returned to Dallas. In doing so, we flew over the second pilot, um, so he popped some smoke. When I got down, I went back and rescued the second guy. By the time I got back to Dallas, Seahorse was down in Kassab, so I was on my way to go pick him up. Um, and just as I was putting it down in what I thought was a space, uh, safe space, um, I was all of a sudden looking through the back of my pilot's head as he slumped forward, forward and obviously uh, been shot in the face at some point, um, a little bit too close to the So mm. uh, that's how my day ended. Oh dear. That's a bit like real life. Um, guys, any final yep. thoughts or any uh, kind of... Sorry. Yep. Sorry, unexpected. Uh, so I went out and helped the uh, CSAR guys. I took out some vehicles. I uh, went out for the tanks. Managed to take one, but I got hit by a missile. So... Uh, Bendy ended up saving me. Uh, then I respawned on K-50, uh, went to help uh, Blight, uh, took out a bunch of armor, and then headed to Kassav and took out some more armor, and that was it. So, yeah, that's what pretty fun. Know. Well, how did you meet your end? Because you just disappeared at some point. No, no, I, I went and, uh, well, I had to respawn after uh, after Bendy picked me up, and uh, mm -hmm. then I went on K-50. So, okay. And I finished I finished the mission on the K-50. Andrew boys. Very good. Um... So just to sum up quickly, Cap, yes, uh, having a look around the map whilst everyone was chatting. Um, so it's really good. Uh, some successes, some not so successes. Um, unfortunately, the convoy got to Fujara International, so the Chinese have now got hold of that. Hello, they did a very good job. <laughs> yeah, they, they did a good job of um, taking out a lot of the, the material around the port. So, you know, they're not going to really be able to do a huge, huge amount with that airfield. Um, but it could come online uh, soonish. Um, in terms of Kassab airfield, you know, we didn't quite finish seizing it. I can see there's some enemy troops still at the Oops. airport and they're in a gunfight with our troops, so we need to go and, and relieve them and, and help them out. Um, yep. But it does stop the enemy using that airfield next mission, which is good. Um, what about Fujara? So, yeah. 
Yeah, so that Fajara airfield has been been seized by the Chinese, uh, and we'll have to see if they repair it and, and what they can do with it. I I can see from uh, the BDA that there's suspiciously some fighters that were offloaded uh, that haven't been destroyed, uh, that are waiting at the docks. So if they can transport them to the airfield, we have a bit of a problem. Um, otherwise, very good job on the cap as well. Uh, I don't see any J-15s left, so um, that's going to severely, you know, the Liaoning might not have been sunk, but she's got no aircraft left, um, so that's a good job. But there is still a lot of Chinese armor left, so they could give us some trouble in the next next mission. Mavericks. Really good job, everyone. Yep. With Liaoning having expended aircraft, wouldn't it be retreating? Well, it is. It's trying to <laughs> it's trying to go south at the moment. Well done, guys. Well, that time we down, then we may be able to take the time. Well done, guys. That was. That we can take Fujara. We did really good. We got 54 down, 52 down. Uh, shot a load of planes down. Got a load of ground vehicles down. All when there was loads of lag and my PC was crashing, and you know it's just not that easy when you've got nasty conditions like that. So it's very good. Uh, right, I need a track file from uh, who is who are you? Dave, Bill, Boris, Chopsticks. I am Boris. He's not listening. Mm. Talking to his bloody girlfriend. I'm going to need a track full of them. Oh, yes, I was, Cap. Oh, that's excellent news. I've already got <laughs> my tack view, and I'll bodge the rest somehow. All right, very good, guys. I will see you next week in Ting. See you, Cap. See you, Cap. Bye, Cap.